Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the update is upon us. I just put out the, the guide, the tier three guided quest selector guide video. And I broke pretty much, I, I tried to break down everything in it and I ranked all the characters in that. So if you haven't seen it, go check that out. But today, yes, we're not taking a look at you, Sam. Now you get, there he is. I mean, so I, I'm, I'm truly disappointed. I'm, I'm actually, I'm kind of offended that they did this to Bucky. Look at his face. Dude, in the key art, he looks so good. He looks so good in the key art, and then they did this to him. You could actually, actually, one of these. Where is he? There he is right there. Look, man, look at his hair. He looks all Rico suave, and then, man, it looks like he just, I don't know, came out of some some alien warp device, and they just twisted his face all up. He kind of looks like a, like a frog or something. I don't know. He looks rather strange, but in any case, we're going to be putting this man through the paces. So let me show you his build right now. It's just eight regular. Uh, they're not even all six-star Uru. I think there's three five-star Uru. The rest are six-star. And he has a regular energy on. And he has a fully um, fully ranked up ISO 8 set. Uh, actually, here, let me show you his uniform options here. So we got Medusa, Scarlet Witch, Rogue, Valkyrie, and Red Skull. These aren't bad, actually. These aren't bad at all. This one, this one's the worst here by far. I mean, come on. You got to throw... This Scarlet Witch, just put put her new one in there. Put her new one in there. They're really trying to milk you guys. It's terrible. But in any case, um, we're going to take him in. We're going to see how he does with this build. Then we're going to stack him with some Odin's Blessings. I don't know, at least eight Odin's Blessings. We're going to we're gonna get this crit rate maxed out. You know, we're going to have to throw the physical attack crit rate Odin's Blessings on this man. I'm, I'm sure I got a bunch of them, right? I have a lot of physical attack. There we go. We have nine. So, yeah, we're, we're good to go on that. So yeah, we're gonna stack them up, like I said, at least eight, and then we're gonna throw a mighty energy on them. Because all the other characters that are worth their salt, I have mighty CTPs on. Because we're gonna be taking them into stage 22 of Null. Now I know, you know, he could probably do a little bit better for Mephisto, that's gonna be left for a separate video, because it's just gonna take too long. So yeah, stage 22, so other characters that are in this bracket right here, that you can select, um, we're going to compare him against somebody in here, and I have a lot of mighty CTPs on, uh, you know, any character that, like I said, that's worth their salt, they can actually do this and do this well. I have a really good build on them, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to give them, like, pretty much identical build, maybe minus a few Odin's Blessings, um, and then seeing how he stacks up. So, let's get to it. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. So uh, let's break down, you know, just what's going on with the skills. Okay, his tier three has, okay, so they put ignore targeting on, on his tier three, which is very nice. Uh, that's one of the changes that they that they made in the, in the patch notes. All the way at the bottom there, he has 100% penetration. He has invincibility for nine seconds. He gets a 40% attack buff for one attack. And, you know, small defense down, some other stuff that's really not important. He does get 40% crit rate, but it's for seven seconds. You're, you're going to want to cap that off. You, you just are. And then on his, his tier two passive, ignore target dodge rate by 100%, but only for three seconds out of 10 seconds. And then skill damage bonus damage for eight seconds out of 10 seconds. Okay, so that's, you know what? I thought it was three seconds as well, but it's eight seconds. So that, that, that's not so bad. Not so bad. And then... um. That's a 45% chance. On his two skill, he gets a 10% increase all attack for 10 seconds. So that's up. That's up all the time. His third is important because you have uh, accumulation plus you have uh, immunity for five seconds. His fourth skill is a skill that you're actually going to want to proc on. And his fifth skill is it's a cancelable skill, and he gets an all attack, all defense. Uh, buff on that and then that's pretty much it. So uh, let's just you know dive in talk about his rotation here So it's basically so the two skill you get the the, the fat and juicy 10% So we're gonna basically gonna do two three five four And then you go on proc on four. It's just kind of it's kind of silly like his four skill isn't that long of a skill so you know you know, you kind of want to proc on a skill that, that lasts a little bit longer, but he really doesn't have any of those skills. This is the best rotation. And then you're basically going to want to do 2, 3, 5, tier 3. And proc on his tier 3. His tier 3 actually has some some juicy damage. It, it does. So they changed him to a very large degree. And I'll say that I, I, I honestly don't know if he's meta yet. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out together, ladies and gentlemen. So let's jump into this. Where This is a team-up we're going to use. There's really nothing else I could do for him. This is the best lead. It's going to be his own lead. It's 30% increase to all attack, uh, or to physical attack, rather. I mean, other than that, you can use someone like, I don't know. Um, you know, th these are the strikers we're going to give him. This is all we're going to do. 
Um, you could use like vision. I mean, why would you use vision when you could use his own unless you were using an energy attacking character as well? Because visions is 20% increase to all attacks. You know, if you're going to do like a swap swap deal. Alrighty, trying this again. We, we had a, um, a premature proc activation. And we don't like premature proc activations around here. No, sir. Alright, here we go. Wait for the purple. Two, three, five, four. There was like no damage there. I feel like, you know, maybe I'm canceling five too fast. That seemed to be a thing. I came in here and I was playing around with him a little bit and... If you cancel his fight, like, it's like you kind of have to wait for him to him to throw the bombs there. Right? So, two, three, five, and then four. Okay. There we go. That That's a little bit better. All right. Now, we got to wait for the three. Come off cool. So, two, three, five, six. Boom. Okay. So, there seems to be some decent damage on that tier three, as a matter of fact. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. Did we miss the proc? I feel like we definitely missed that proc. But, you know, I... Hmm. <laughs> you know, most of his damage is on his tier 3 anyways. You know, we're just we're going to let this run rock. If we miss another one, I'll, I'll, I'll restart it. But, you know, it seems like he would definitely perform a bit better with a with a rage uh proc you know you can kind of hear it right you hear the you hear the and then obviously the bomb's kind of going off so i suppose if you don't hear that then you know that you canceled it too soon there we go so you can hear you can actually see it if we can actually get a proc that's on time i suppose the good thing is is that his tier three is rather long so if you do get like a semi-late proc you know you're not losing out on like a ton of damage okay so okay there, there is a little bit of a timing with his five that i'm noticing here there's a little bit of a timing but okay if you're somebody who likes the four ctps you have mighty energies you want to you love bucky you want to you know build him up nice you want to give him a forge energy um it's you know he has that time where he kites so you can charge up that beat down um that's the way it seems i haven't used him with one yet but there we go Proc. what's the proc Jesus, you see that though? We're get we're getting some late proc, but you see what I mean about you know it's always going to be better if the proc activates right away for sure. Um, it it just is, but the um, but I you know it's not the end of the world because you uh, because of the very long animation on his on his tier three. But yeah, if the proc goes off right away, the damage is just going to be better. Man, this is taking him a long time. This is taking him a long time. I do I do have to say. He should be done here if we can actually... And that's the other thing. He doesn't have a heal. Okay, I, I feel like if the procs were actually on time, he could have done that a little bit faster. But as of right now, now I know. He doesn't have you know similar builds to other characters that I have here. But I'm not impressed at this point. Let's see if... Eight Odin's blessings and a mighty energy will 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 vastly improve this man. Alrighty, here we go. Let me show you what I did. So I went ahead and I gave him eight Odin's blessings, like I said, and I gave him a mighty energy. And it's got decent ignore dodge, right? The the, the cap on that, the max is 45%. It's got 34 and a half, 34 and a half, and it has five percent beatdown. I feel like 5% is a good spot. You, you know, if it's 4%, then you probably want to re-roll it. But 5%, it's not that much of a difference between 5 and 6. And besides, I don't have any with 6. Not anymore. They're they're all equipped. Um, and all of his stats are capped off. His crit rate, 74.99. So it, it's basically... Uh, actually, he gets a 1% crit, <laughs> crit rate buff. So it's capped. It is totally capped. So let's see if this man can actually... <laughs> do some work yeah i know there's a couple other slots but unless i give him odin's blessings there there's nothing else that 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 he needs right so i give him crit damage doesn't need crit damage i could right crit rate he doesn't need that either um dodge that's it's really the only thing i could do for him but let's uh let's let's take him in and see if, if this man can impress us all righty here we go again trying this 
for like the eighth time. <laughs> we just have been so many issues. I really don't understand it. I've never had so many things just kind of go wrong at the same time. He's tricky to play with the proc. I'll, I'll tell you that much. You know, you have situations where, you know, those characters where they're tier three just like loves to stick. Well, he, he's one of those guys. He's one of those guys where tier three wants to stick so you can miss procs. And, you know, you already know it's not fun. It's not a fun situation because then it's like, especially on his tier three, right? Because all of his damage is on his tier three. You know, it, it is. I mean, look how many bars he's doing on his on his off rotation. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. But we at least avoided getting frozen there. Okay, we got a uh, good tier three proc, at least. It did not stick. Well, it stuck a little bit, but, you know, sometimes it just... It just activates late. And there is a slight, there's a very minor delay on his on his fifth skill. Um like I you know, there there's been runs where I'm just I, I apparently I'm canceling it too fast and you don't get the whole you don't get the bombs. I feel like it doesn't matter as much on his tier three rotation as it does on his non tier three rotation because there's just not a lot of damage on this rotation here. Right, it's you know most of his damage is on his tier three. I mean it's like that with a lot of characters. Okay, very nice. This run is going pretty well, I have to say. Pretty pretty well. Okay, that would have been done there. That would have been done. You or you guys know it. You saw it. So it would have been like 325 if we didn't get interrupted there by the by the Wonker. It would have been 325. We're calling this 325. <laughs> Which, um, now, now we have to compare him against uh, a different character. Let's go Let's go see who we have. Because I honestly, I've, I haven't even thought to compare him. I'm not going to compare him against Sam. Because I'm going to be doing the same thing with Sam. And except on Sam, I'm going to be doing, I'm probably going to do this 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 proc here. Because it's 200% proc. It's not, not bad. I mean, um, as long as, you know, his other stats aren't really... Yeah, we should be able to cap off his stats. I mean, where's he getting all this crit damage from? You know what? I don't even care right now. Probably on his uniform. He probably has because I haven't even touched his options. No. No, no, it's not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Maybe, maybe he gets a buff somewhere. I haven't really looked into it. But we're not going to compare against Sam. We're going to compare him against somebody else. Who else can we compare him against? Maybe Moon Knight? Moon Knight might be a good uh, comparison here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do Moon Knight, and then we're going to do Torch, okay? So, so you, you get an idea of where all these characters are relative to. Because I feel like everybody, if you don't have Torch, you're going to get Torch, right? And if you're playing this stage, you're probably using Torch. So to get an idea of where he stacks up, I just feel like you can't run a character, right? I can come in here, I could just play Winter Soldier and, and just put those runs in the video and call it that. But it, that doesn't that gives you no idea of of exactly how good he is because everybody's account is different right all right so we're gonna do moon knight um there's really no other tier three character like maybe ghost rider but he's energy attack and i'm trying to compare him against a physical attacking character i think that's gonna be a good um yeah just just a good place to be there I don't know, man. It's like Moon Knight is moving a bit faster than this guy. I probably should have just waited for his uh, for his six. Because now I got to deal with this, and there's a, a bit of damage after. So right here, I don't care if I get trapped up. Not so much. Um, I think I got trapped up with Winter Soldier once as well. And Moon Knight has a mighty energy as well. He does have more Odin's Blessings. I, I will admit that. Okay, we, we lost that proc there. It just it went off early, but... Let's just, let's just continue. Let's just continue. Um, you know, you can... It, he's going to finish it at about the same time anyways. So we'll call it 340. So Winter Soldier, right? I'm calling that 325. Moon Knight is 340. 
I mean, I'll show you his, but his build is a little bit better, right? He just, he just, Moon Knight has a full stack of Odin's Blessings, but I've been saying this for a long time. Um, as long as the, he's basically, I'm going to, I'm going to say this, that Moon Knight has four more Odin's Blessings than Winter Soldier. Um, although Winter Soldier does have three five-star physical attacking Muru. So uh, his advantage isn't that much. It's not as much as you think. Now let's um, let's throw Torch in here, and we'll give him um, we'll give him Sentry Lead. How about that? Okay, we'll give him Sentry Lead, and let's see. I mean, he does have Mister Fantastic, and he has Thing available to him, but that would just be that would just be too much, right? You, you, you're not really comparing on even terms there. So let's see how this works out for my guy. I don't know. Maybe he's not gonna be. Ah, oh, jeez. I gotta wait for the for the proc here. Okay. Okay. All right. That much faster than than Moon Knight, just because of how his damage falls off on his off rotation. The thing is with Torch, right? He has more. He has more uh, available to him in terms of you know lead and support. So he he has he has all that. But it, I mean, it looks like he's gonna be—he's gonna be faster regardless. Um, at the very least, by the next time, okay. He—he he doesn't need venom. He gets a 25% max HP recovery on his fifth. So, but yeah, he's gonna be faster than both these guys. I might as well just wait for the. I'm just gonna wait for the six. Oh my god, dude, that is so annoying, right? The I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. It's going to activate sooner or later. Okay. So, it, I mean, he only seems to be five seconds faster than Moon Knight. Moon Knight also had... Okay, let me, let me just show you the difference with the lead there. It wasn't the best run for, for Torch, but um, Sentry's lead is he has a debuff plus 30% all attack for 12 out of 20 seconds. So it's not up all the time. And then Moon Knight had 30% all the time. So, um... So 345 for Torch, 340 for, for Moon Knight, and then 325 for Winter Soldier, and they they basically have the same build. I mean, Winter Soldier's build can go up a little bit, but honestly, like, it's not going to increase his time that much. If I give him four more Odin's Blessings, and because Torch, as a matter of fact, has, he has uh, 12 Odin's Blessings. Uh, so... I don't know what to say. To, to me, you know, Bucky, um, I I was hoping for more. I was hoping, I was expect, you know, expecting a little bit more. Um, he just doesn't seem to, maybe some PvP stuff, but, you know, he just, he doesn't seem that strong. Does not seem that strong if Moon Knight is is beating him. And Moon Because Moon Knight's kind of fallen off at this point. Like, there, there's a lot of characters that, that can do it much better than him now. Um, I'm hearing good things about about Sam, and you know, um, I'll, I'll be doing the the same exact thing with Sam as I did with Winter Soldier, except I think we're gonna do one additional step. We're gonna go this 200 proc to a regular energy, and then to a mighty energy, and I'm gonna give him the same treatment, right? I'm gonna give him um, at least eight Odin's blessings. I might even go ahead and give him 12 if if it seems like he's you know he he's worth it right if he if he's impressing me more than than bucky is and also keep in mind that these characters they're going to have more value for mephisto so moon knight right he's combat um you, you know you take both these characters in, into mephisto bucky all of a sudden has a crazy advantage right especially if you rank up his uh his type so right now he, he's ranked 4 that's actually not that bad i think that's a pretty good place to be he's ranked 3 well, it's, uh, there we go. I like, I like the first try. Let's see. You know what? Is our luck going to continue? No. Okay. I'm going to stop there because I swear to God, every time I do this, it just continues. Fail, fail, fail. It's the worst. They want you to buy those tickets and they're way too expensive for what you actually get. It's like 80 bucks for, I think it's, it's at least $80 for the, um, we'll, we'll try this one more time because I actually want to see. Yep. See. Okay. So it's fifty just to go to rank five, and then I think to rank six, I think it's I think it's seventy or eighty dollars. It's insane for 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 that. Like, give me a break.
Give me a break. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. Um, yeah, so I'll be bringing you Sam. I'll be bringing you Le Yelena. Yeah, I already have her transcended. Where, Where is she? Where, where's that little cutie? You know, cutie pie here. Um, yeah, I already have her transcended. Um, I'll be doing some, you know, pop, lock, and drop, and CTP swapping with her. Taskmaster, actually, I'm going to be, you know what? Why don't I do it now? Use my mega tier three selector. Um, yeah, so where is it? Yeah, I've had this for a long time. I've had this since like Black Friday. Where is... There it is. Boom. So I could use it on these two characters. I'm doing the Ant-Man guided quest. Um, so yeah, even though I have him at 62, that's it. Uh, that's all I did was rank him up to 62. I didn't touch his gears. So it's it's still it's still worth it, um, you know, in my opinion. If I had him at like 66, gears 22, then I might think twice about it. Um, and by the way, uh, you know, maybe I'll make a separate video talking about these packs here because I have some things to say about this. I have some things to say about these packs here. Yes, indeed. Yeah, because they made some changes. A $400 relay pack? What? What? All right, I'm going to end it there. So, ladies and gentlemen, you better stay tuned. If you want to catch all of the ins and outs and ups and downs of, of this update here, and you want to see all these tunes ranked, stay tuned. You stay breezy, but most of all, friend, you stay safe out there now. Peace.